Okay, so next thing we've got is uh, this is called a, uh, basically a breadboard or a pegboard or a circuit board or whatever you want to call it. Now, first thing we have to take note is you have these things called rails down the side, all right? And it's got uh, basically a red and a blue. Now, the idea of these is if I plug something in here, all of these holes all the way down here are connected together. So that means if I go back to my remember uh, my Adreno board and I plug something in that's 3.3 volts. Okay, so there's my 3.3 volt and I plug it into my rail. Okay, then that means that anything I plug in down this line would be 3.3 volts. Equally, if I did the same thing here, then the second line would be 3.3 volts. Now, because we had the 3.3 volts going in, remember we have to we have to um, put the ground in as well. So you can see this black one. So on my Adreno board, I'm going to plug in ground. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'll just do it on that side for now. So you can see here, this is going to be all the way down here is going to be my positive 3.3 volts. And all the way down here is going to be my negative or my ground. Okay. In the middle, it goes the other way. So all these are connected going across here. So if I look at number 10, number 10, anything I plug in into this one on 10 will be the same as plugging into them all. So let's have a go. I want to plug in my positive. Okay, so it doesn't matter where I plug it in, and I'm going to plug it into 10. Okay, so let's turn that around. So I've plugged in my positive into 10, which means anything along here is going to be positive, right? This bit here is a break, nothing gets across there. So because we need our negative now, let's find a black, a black one, doesn't matter, I've got a blue one here. All right, so the other side, I'm going to plug in a my ground and plug into 10. Again, it doesn't really matter where I plug it in. All right, but that means now this is going to be my negative, anything that's in line with this one here. Now, if we take my light, my LED, remember that the long one is my positive. So if I plug the long one, anyone in here, put it there, and my negative, anyone here, push it in, and we have the light on. Okay. So equally, I could unplug this, plug it into any one of those holes as long as it goes. There we go. All right. So this is one way of actually putting out lots of lights. All right. So if I plug, I can plug these lights in. Say I want another light. All I need to do is plug another one in here. So again, power is coming all the way down here across here to this one. I need my earth, it's negative, however you want to say it. Okay, plug that in. Oh, let's put it down here. It doesn't matter. All right, it just means that this one here is positive. This one down here is negative, so I'm going to have to go across there. All right, so I've got my, oh, it's probably not the smartest thing because my blue is really tiny. So remember, I have to have somewhere in this side and somewhere in this side and there we go you can see it's already lighting up oops it's just a bit of a stretch let's move that one back back to 17 make it easier plug it in plug it in whoa that's really bright there we have it so you've got two lights lit up from and i could have any amount of lights in it's nothing fancy because it's just lots of lights okay now this is parallel right here i've got something wired up in series right which is just basically one light it's not even really a series here it's parallel so all the lights come all the powers coming out from here and going across going out from here going across and i can plug in lots of lights all the way across here all right